Hey everyone, this is Linnea Lukin from the Heartland Institute, here with another climate fact check. Today, I'm going to look at the claim that coral reefs, especially the Great Barrier Reef, are in trouble due to global warming. Think about the kind of regions that you associate with visiting coral reefs. Coral species thrive in warmer waters, and most can't live in cold water. Recent warming has actually allowed coral to expand their range poleward, while still thriving near the equator. Coral has existed continuously for the past 60 million years, surviving temperatures and carbon dioxide levels significantly higher than what is occurring today. That's not to say that harm can't come to different coral species regionally, but much of what's promoted in the media is misleading. What you see talked about in the news the most is something called coral bleaching, but that's not the same thing as coral death. Bleaching is when the algae that lives on the coral surface, which is what gives the structure its colors, is expelled. The coral organism is still alive and can live bleached for a time until it's recolonized by new algae. Bleaching can occur in cooling water temperatures and warming water temperatures. Most corals do recover from it. While abrupt warming of surrounding ocean water, like in a marine heat wave, can and often does cause bleaching, the primary causes include poisoning from a chemical found in sunscreen, sudden influxes of silt and chemicals contained in runoff from coastal lands and agriculture, and cold temperatures, like what happened in 2010 off the Florida coast, which resulted in not just bleaching, but also one of the largest coral kills recorded in the area. Possibly the number one poster child for the supposed impacts of climate change on coral reefs is Australia's Great Barrier Reef, whose demise has been greatly exaggerated in the media and even from organizations like NASA, like Clockwork, almost every year. In reality, corals in the Great Barrier Reef are thriving. In 2021, scientists at the Australian Institute of Marine Science counted more corals in the Great Barrier Reef than had ever been recorded in the 36 years that scientists have been keeping records. In 2022, scientists counted even more corals, and in 2023, coral coverage tied the record set in 2022. Corals are amazing. They often bounce back from bleaching and apparent die-offs. One recent example is the Coral Castles Reef, which lies between Hawaii and Fiji. In 2003, scientists announced that it was totally dead and wrote it off as a lost cause that would take 100 years or more to recover. But when researchers revisited the site in 2015, they were stunned to find it thriving again. This happens all the time, though those stories don't make the news quite as often as dramatic bleaching does. That's all I have for this fact check. For the sources used as reference for this video, you can check out climateataglance.com, where you can also download a free copy of the book Climate at a Glance for Teachers and Students. If you prefer paper, you can purchase a hard copy on Amazon. We also have an app available called Climate at a Glance for Android and iPhone. Thanks for watching.